Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amy here, and we're looking at a really creative exercise using the TheraBand to um, fire up our posterior chain and uh, looking at arm opposite leg when we're on all fours. And the, the TheraBand really helps us to connect to um, keeping the contrast, keeping the opposition, keeping work in every part of our body so that, that we really are that biotensegrity model and organism. So we're gonna make sure that the TheraBand is even and you want to bring the TheraBand onto the tops of the feet and then you want to wrap the feet and bring the TheraBand through the center. If you have a long enough TheraBand, you could even do two wraps. We're just going to do one. And then this is a, a trick, an exercise in and of itself, <laughs> to come on to all fours with the TheraBand between your legs. And then don't cross the TheraBand between your legs. And then you want to stand onto the TheraBands with your hands. So in a moment, I'm going to be asking Amy to reach her left leg back and her right arm forward. And what she really has to pay attention to is how she's standing on her left hand, left arm, and uh, right leg, right knee, and what the right glute cheek is doing. This diagonal is going to be really, really important. So as she exhales, she's going to start to reach the left leg away from the right arm. She's going to really try to find that right glute cheek, and she's going to stand into that left hand, left arm. And let's bring that left knee down. That was good. Great. I feel like you can bring your right knee underneath you a little tiny bit more. Good. So we'll do that again, and then we'll add the right arm to this. So go ahead and just um, stretch the left leg out with a minimal shift. That was good and lift the leg up with a minimal shift into my finger on your right hip. Good, and notice she didn't lift up very high. That's fine. And then let's add the right arm if we can with a minimal shift into my finger on your right hip. Good, and she doesn't have to lift it really high. I'm looking for hip points, shoulder points down, and I'm looking for some lift through this part of her spine, and then slowly, slowly coming down. Excellent. Find all fours. It's a very hard exercise, and we're going to go to the other diagonal. So I want her to really find her standing right hand and right arm. And so for right now, we're just going to do the leg, same as we did before. I'm going to put my finger here, and I want a minimal shift into this left hip as she extends the right leg out. And then from the gluteal fold, she's going to lift that leg up, still dropping her right hip point down. Good, and then gently bringing that leg back in. Great, and we're gonna do that one more time. And I'm gonna kinda hold on to her pelvis, and I'm gonna give her a little bit of sense of length through this right side. So she's gonna stretch the right leg out, and I'm really trying to rotate this side of the pelvis down because she wants to rotate it up. And then from her gluteal fold, she's gonna lift the leg up. There you go. And so she really has to stand into that right arm and hand, and she's going to bring the right knee back down. So what I'm noticing is that she has her right wrist pretty far in front of her right shoulder. So I want her to bring that right wrist back just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then stand again. So that might give her a little bit more power. So again, we're going to extend that right leg out, and there's going to be a minimal shift into that left side. Doesn't have to be high. Good. And then she's going to stand into that right arm, right hand, and extend her left arm. And again, it doesn't have to be high. Beautiful. That helped a lot, bringing her wrist underneath her shoulder. And then gently, gently release back. Very good. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.